Hi there, this is Hallie Crawford with Create Your Career Path with HallieCrawford.com, Career Coaching. So the Today Show ran a series about civility, civility in our lives and in the media as well as in the workplace, and asking and questioning, is civility dead? When you think about it, I kind of think it is, and it's not completely dead, but it's going away. With the advent of reality TV shows that we have all over the networks, and with the advent of social media, and the way that people can now hide behind their computers and be bolder than they ever have been with their communication, I definitely think civility is going down and we need to think about this and consider it. I think it's in danger, but it's not completely dead, so there's still hope, something for us to still do about it. And if this is the case, if civility really is in danger, if this is true, and it starts to bleed into the workplace, that's actually an even bigger issue. Because incivility in the workplace can and will affect your, affect your career and your career progression. And therefore, it will affect your financial stability in the long run. So you have to think about this. If you don't want to end up back on your parents' couch or living in the basement, pay close attention to your professional behavior. So I'm speaking to recent college grads. I see three things happening in the workplace with recent grads that they need to pay attention to in order to be mindful of their professional behavior and make sure that their career progression goes the way they want it to be. So these are the three things that they need to be mindful of with their workplace behavior. Number one, I see in recent grads who are just starting in a job, they have this sense of entitlement, this sense that I am owed more vacation days than other people or the, all the perks and these exact things that they want in their work, maybe even more things than other coworkers who have been there for longer deserve and actually have. So they, ex they expect these things right away, whether it's a perk on the job to getting a promotion as quickly as, say, one of their supervisors. And they, you guys have to be careful of this. Don't have and watch this sense of entitlement. Now, it's not to say that you can't have a job you truly enjoy and can have the things and work towards the things that you want in your career, but you can't necessarily have all of those things right up front. Everybody's got to pay your, their dues, and we'll talk about that in a second. Number two, sometimes recent college grads speak their mind too freely, giving their opinion in meetings and expecting it to be followed right away even when there may be a good reason why it's not going to be followed because of past company experience. Maybe they tried that idea that you provided in a meeting. Maybe it was tried before and it didn't work out well. So don't assume that everything that you say and every idea that you're gonna provide is gonna be followed. Give your ideas, speak your mind, and give your opinion, but don't get upset or frustrated when it's not taken. There may be a good reason why it's not. And number three, recent college grads also don't always respect their older coworkers as much as they could. Now look, I know there will always be this tension between the generations. This is as old as time and it will always be that way. And yes, fresh new ideas and perspectives are wanted and needed at companies in order to move things forward. So I'm not saying here to hold back. Don't hold back your advice and your opinion. My advice is to simply be mindful of how you present your ideas and your opinion. Be tactful and respectful of everyone at your workplace. And don't get frustrated if your idea is not taken right away. And realize too, and this is very important, that you're going to have to pay your dues just like everybody else does. Yes, I know that doesn't sound fun. I wasn't thrilled about that either. But everyone has to pay their dues. I did and all of my clients have as well. And the key is to be in the right career path in a job that you actually enjoy so that you don't mind paying your dues. It's not as big of a deal for you because you know that this is the place you wanna be in the long run and it's worth it to you to put in that time and effort to pay your dues. So be sure that you're in the right career path. This goes back to being in your ideal career. Pay your dues at the beginning and just know that it's part of your career progression, it's okay, and it's not going to be that way forever. I hope this was helpful for you. Have a great day and tune in next week.